COVID-19 obviously has、uh, created a big trouble to the whole world, and uh, especially uh, in the diabetes community. COVID-19 can infect our people in the pancreas, in the liver, in the kidney, and the intestine. This is all the organs involving the diabetes、uh, glucose uh, management. That's why. In the diabetes community, and then we see they have a higher infection rate with the diabetes patients, and also the death rate is high. When the medical community in China get aware,、um, Professor Dalin Zhu, who is the president of Chinese Diabetes Society, has launched a series of programs to advise. The diabetic patients and how can they stay healthy, and then be able to avoid the infection through the internet technology that is widely used in China, the WeChat system. Patients can connect with their physician so that when they feel they're not well, they'll get immediately contact with. The physicians and then get help from the hospital. One medicine initiated a global first-in-class diabetes drug study a few years ago, and the drug doragliatin has entered the phase three trial. And this molecule is be able to fix the glucose sensor in the type two diabetes patients and then treat. Diabetes through rebuild the glucose homeostasis. This year we enter into this very important stage of closing the phase three trial, where we run into the outbreak of COVID-19. Our medicine actually benefited from the community and the government that are providing the guidance of how to run clinical studies. During the pandemic situation, at the same time, developing our own quality control and management processes. So, in this way, we'll be able to provide interactions and the interview between physicians and the patients remotely, and also through the logistics system, they can receive their medication. During the clinical trial, without interruption, Bar Medicine and our investigators successfully closed the study at、um, March third, twenty twenty, without major impact on the outcome of the study. We participating ADA over the last eight years. This year, we are analyzing the data. And hopefully next year when I see you, I can tell you the whole picture how doragliatin is be able to help our patients in China and eventually helping the patients worldwide.